Hey guys, happy NVIDIA day. <laughs> Today is NVIDIA's earnings. It is around 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. So, you know, we're getting ready for NVIDIA. I wanted to do a quick video talking about NVIDIA because, boy, it's like my largest position in the portfolio. Um, I've done a video, actually a couple of videos talking about it. So do check that out if you want to know a little bit more about that. But yeah, it's a big day for me. Um, Palo Alto, ouch, didn't do great. So I'm feeling the pain now. NVIDIA, if it drops, it's going to hurt a lot. Um, anyways, I'm not too worried. NVIDIA has kept me happy for, for a while now. Um, you know, and lately I've been doing a lot of options and cash secured puts on NVIDIA as opposed to what I usually do, which is ET, Triple Q, just because the implied volatility is intense on NVIDIA and it just made sense to do options and cash secured puts on NVIDIA because, man, those premiums are juicy. Okay, anyways, so... I want to do a quick video talking about how I am managing this position and some of the hedging strategies that I have deployed to, you know, to some extent offset any losses in value if NVIDIA drops. Um, and I'm doing this via options, right? I mean, plain vanilla options that people typically do is, hey, let me buy a call and you know, it's going to go up and hopefully I'll make some quick money on that call option. Or maybe let me buy a put to give myself a downside protection. I'm not a fan of these. Most people forget that, you know, especially at the time of earnings, for example, or any major event, the implied volatility on options spikes up. I mean, look at the implied volatility of um, NVIDIA right now. It's crazy, right? Once the event passes, like you mark the implied volatility right now, what it is today, and once the day ends, tomorrow morning, that's going to go down like crazy. It's called IV crush or implied volatility crush, right? And which means... Like typically higher IV equals higher premium, lower IV equals lower premium. So the value of that options contract is going to go down like crazy. Anyways, I'm not a huge fan of buying con options um, right before the earnings. And you're going to pay a premium because higher implied volatility, meaning higher cost to buy that one contract. Maybe you just want to put... But still, you've got to pay a hefty premium to buy that one put or how, however many you want. So I don't like that. Instead, here's what I like to do, right? I like to sell into this implied volatility because selling premium means you can make a good chunk of change. and You're actually now collecting those costly premium, right? So how am I doing this, right? So let Assuming you have a position in NVIDIA, right? One way to manage this is write covered calls and collect the premium. And then if you have cash on the sideline, sell cash secured puts, right? Um, again, you're trying to gather premium. Now, with cash secured puts, you also may get assigned if it drops below your strike, right? But to me, that's that's a good thing because you're gonna, f you know, buy some more Nvidia at a lower price, which brings down your average cost. At the same time, you're collecting hefty premium, right? Now, what are so 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 essentially you're writing covered calls against your existing positions, and then using cash to sell some cash secured puts and for both of these you're capturing the premium what can happen what can go wrong right if nvidia did nothing meaning it's flat or maybe it's one or two percent you get to keep your stock 
right? All of it. Um, and all that good premium, right? So it's like free money for you at that point if NVIDIA did nothing, but that's not gonna happen. Now, if NVIDIA blow past your strike for the call, remember the covered calls that you wrote? Well, in that case, your stocks will go away because now you're obligated to sell at the strike price of the covered call. But that's not a bad thing because you're gonna sell at a higher strike and you also get to keep that premium which adds to the price at which you sold, right? So win-win. Now, if, if it falls <clears throat> below your strike, for, um, remember you also have a cash secured puts, uh, put, now, if, if it falls below the put price, put strike, you are now obligated to buy NVIDIA, but at a lower price, the strike of your put. Um, and you also still get to keep the premium. So essentially in this scenario where, let's say NVIDIA falls, you're getting NVIDIA cheaper, plus you get the premium, not a bad deal. So this is how I like to do it. Um, around earnings and like hedging my position, especially NVIDIA where IV is off the charts, premiums are off the charts, and the expectation is like crazy. Now, <clears throat> you know what, actually let's take an example, right? Now NVIDIA is expected to move 11%, right? At the time of this video, today is the day of the earning. And as I said, it's around 8.30, and NVIDIA is trading at 680, right? So 11% up would be 755 strike. This is the covered call that you would sell and collect the premium. And then 11% down is the 605 um, strike price. So in this case, you would sell the cash secured puts and again, collect that hefty premium, with also the obligation to buy more Nvidia if it blows past or if it goes below 605, you will be obligated to buy at 605 strike. Of course, how many contracts you buy um, will depend on your long Nvidia position size and also how much cash you have sitting or lying around. Here's what I've done, and I, I opened my positions on Friday, and so far I've been, it's been, I've been lucky. I've been able to time things really well. Monday, Tuesday didn't work out as planned, but anyways, here's what I have opened. Um, here's how I'm managing or hedging my NVIDIA position, right? Uh, as I said, I have a huge position in, uh, long position in NVIDIA, and I don't mind buying more. And I do have a lot of cash because I do a lot of cash secured puts. So I always have tons of cash lying around in my Fidelity account because that's my strategy. That's what I end up doing all the time. That's how I make my money. Okay, so I on Friday when Nvidia closed at around 726, that's when right at around close, I opened these positions, right? So I wrote, I did covered calls uh, against my long positions for 810, um, 810 strike which means that, hey, if NVIDIA blows past, did great and the earnings go crazy and it goes beyond 800, 810, uh, my shares will go away. But that's not a bad thing because that's a good price to sell NVIDIA at, plus I get the premium. And then I wrote cash secured puts at 640 and then some more at 590. Between the premiums that I collected for covered calls and the two cash secured puts, um, of course, my quantity is a lot more than because my position is also huge. But between the premium I collected, I can potentially offset around 9 to 10% drop in NVIDIA. Of course, that number fluctuates because uh, the price of NVIDIA stock is fluctuating as we speak. Um, so yeah, so that's how I'm offsetting or I'm managing or hedging my long position. 
I might get a sign given where the price is and 640 and you know, assume it goes down. I might get a sign new shares, but given where it was and where it's come down, I don't mind owning some more Nvidia if it drops. And in the process, I'm collecting more premium, right? So I'm cool with that. Just want to do a quick video. I hope it works out for you as well. Um, hope this helps and all the best on this NVIDIA day. Cheers.